Hi y'all, Kraken Latte here. It's that time again where I bring you my tips, facts, or experience that you may or may not find helpful. Dragonflight is almost here, and with it comes the new max level of 70. 60 to 70 is the new current leveling bracket for WoW, and even if you only have a handful of alts, that means it's time to log into all of the level 60s that you have once the expansion goes live. In case you hadn't thought of it this way, logging off of your character is sort of like saving the game, and so with some things, your character is saved in its last state until you log back into them. This means that, since there was no level higher than 60 during Shadowlands, you had no XP bar at max level. And that means that until you log into them again after Dragonflight has gone live, that character won't start saving rested experience. You may not think rested XP to be such a big deal, but it sure can be if you have a full rested bar, because you see, the rested bonus is a natural XP buff that our characters will gain by simply logging out in a city or a rested area. The rested bonus grants 200% XP buff to all mobs, rares, treasures, herbs, and or node XP gains. Don't believe me? Watch this! I've done various tests to see if rested XP really can make a difference. Here's a level 30 Taran and a level 30 Orc. Both have the same gear, both have the same war mode buff, which is 10%, and both are even very, very close to the exact level percentage. But the Taran has a full rested bonus and the Orc has none. Now look at this. Here's the end of these two characters' run of Val Shara, a zone in Legion. And what's this? Why is the Tarn 70% higher? Well, it's because of rested XP. Despite the fact that I do that zone exactly the same in every run, which means I run the same path, do all the same quests, and kill roughly the same amount of mobs, every mob that I killed added up. Now, it does take up to a week to get a full rested bar, but if you really think about how often you just let your alt sit in the background while you play normally on your main, it's highly likely this won't be difficult. In fact, I actually find it really hard to not have rested on alts because you get even a little just for hanging out in a rested area. Either way, if you want that sweet rested bonus to kick in on your level 60s and make alt leveling faster once you get time in the future, I suggest logging into each of your level 60s before tackling the rest of Dragonflight on your main. And as a spoiler, Dragonflight is going to be awesome for alts, so I just bet you'll want the extra boost. Happy leveling! And there we have it. If you think I've missed information or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.